A few weeks ago, the town of Lahaina on Maui was devastated by America's worst wildfire in history. And we're now getting more and more info about how the fire started and everything that went on behind the scenes. Maui County is suing the island's electrical company, saying that a fallen power line and failure to shut off power are what led to the fire starting. However, there's a lot more to the story than what meets the eye. Today, we're going over the Maui wildfires, including new evidence about how it started started and why no warnings were given to the people. In my latest video, I went over these devastating fires and what experts believe caused it. But over the last few days, a lot of information has come out, so I thought I'd make a second video going into more detail. Hawaii is also my favorite place on planet Earth, so this is a situation that means a lot to me. The internet is also full of conspiracy theories right now, some a little more weird than others. But none of these theories you're seeing online have been backed up by evidence, and the believed cause of the fire is still believed to be the fallen power lines. We have now discovered that there is believed to have been two different fires near Lahaina on August 8th. The first was confirmed to be started by a fallen power line, and firefighters arrived on scene and reported it 100% contained. It's then believed that a second fire later in the afternoon was sparked, and that is the one that rapidly spread and destroyed the town of Lahaina. Lahaina is very culturally significant to Hawaii, and was in fact Hawaii's very first capital back in the 1800s. I was in Hawaii at the time of the fires, however safe and sound on the island of Kauai. But I was supposed to be in Lahaina for the second half of my trip. The town I was going to visit has been lost, with only a few structures remaining. It's so heartbreaking. However, there is some debate about how the second fire actually started. Maui's electrical company is now claiming that they did in fact shut off power six hours before the second fire started. Whereas Maui's government says that is not true. The electrical company did admit to guilt on the first fire, however. Power will be shut off in Hawaii when conditions are right for wildfires to spread. It's become a rather common thing, especially on the island of Maui. However, it's reported that this electrical company did not take those warnings seriously and didn't shut off power until it was too late. Most evidence shows this to be the most likely outcome, but the electrical company is arguing hard over the matter. There's also been new evidence showing that the first fire was never actually 100% contained, and it later became the second fire that we're calling it, spreading rapidly and eventually burning Lahaina. However, this is more of just a claim at the moment rather than actual evidence. So I know I just threw a ton of information at you, so let's sum it all up. It's believed that there were two separate fires on August 8th, one of which is confirmed to have been started by a fallen power line, and the second is speculated to have been started in the same way. The electrical company and Maui County are arguing profusely over the matter, so only time will tell which one is right. But at the moment, evidence points to the second fire being started by yet another fallen power line. Now that we have discussed the cause in more detail, let's talk about the timeline of events and why people had no warning. Hawaii has the world's most up-to-date emergency alarm system, designed for things like tsunamis, earthquakes, and wildfires. However, not a single alarm was sounded before the fires. This has raised a lot of questions and anger, even more so after Maui's chief safety officer backed his decision not to sound the alarm. However, he has since stepped down. Besides for people having no warnings at all, the fire was spreading at an incredibly fast rate due to the higher than normal winds at the time, which are believed to have been attributed to a hurricane located south of the Hawaiian Islands. Maui has also been in a mildly severe drought all summer long, and when you combine that with the strong winds, it's easy to see why the fire spread so fast. The death toll at the time of recording this video is officially over 150 people, although around 1,000 still are missing. We'd all like to think that that number would be a lot smaller if proper warnings were put into place. This is all so heartbreaking. Lahaina is one of the most beautiful places I have ever visited, and it's going to take years for them to recover. It's even more disheartening that it sounds like these fires could could have been avoided. There's a lot to digest here in this video, so of course make sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Just like I ended the last video about these fires, the 150 year old banyan tree in Lahaina survived, which I think is a sign of hope for the future of Lahaina.